This is over here. So I guess over here at both of these. Um, her Marie Laveau and her children lived at this site between If you guys know anything about voodoo or anything about the culture in New Orleans, um, Marie Laveau is a very uh, known to be powerful person of uh, the voodoo history in New Orleans. So this house is a really huge staple. Um, it's about nine minutes of a walk from my hotel, but um, it was actually really worth it. It's nice. So of course things have been renovated since, but good to see a piece of history. So it used to be open, but due to COVID, I don't know why they closed all the gates. Um, you still have to sign up. It was due to vandalism. Well, yeah, but also COVID. So before you could go into the cemeteries before COVID. Yeah, so COVID. from our hotel room, our hotel room was like right over there. Um, you can get the top view of the cemetery, but we were hoping to get like a better view of the front. Um, but it's 
that's all you can get so and they also have cameras up here monitoring 24 7 because uh the gate isn't that high Ooh, so it's hot as ever out here. We just got our tickets from over here. So. From this building right here. Let me show y'all real quick. Give y'all a little spin around. So I bought the tickets the day before because the hotel gave us a voucher to get $25 off. So it was supposed to be $100, $50 per person. We ended up paying $80. So, um, we walked up. This is 600 Decatur Street right here. As you can see, we bought it through Gray Line Steamboat Matches. Two tickets for me and Lindsay. And then when we get there, I'm trying to show y'all. Let me give this to the tour guide. So, we're about to hop up on this bus. So here it is, the Prince Market. Um, this is a part, it's not too far from the uh, French Quarter. It's probably, uh, I want to say maybe like a five to ten minute walk depending on where you are in the French Quarter. Uh, so for Bourbon Street, it's about a ten minute walk. Um, as you can see, we have now entered the market looks somewhat like a farmer's market um if you all are familiar with those that's what we have in maryland it's basically little pop-ups of uh where you can buy different things um some homemade things uh things really for your house jewelry is a lot of vendors in here in like half a pound. Mm, I'll do that. So what are they made of? The one that has sugar and pecan. The only one that doesn't have pecan is the coconut. Okay. And then these are all the original creamy? These are original right here. These are rum, which is the same ingredients, but we had a rum extract. Mm. So she gave her a broken one. Cause since COVID, she can't sell it like that. Mm. 
It kind of reminds me of like cho 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 choppy. Yeah, it's between like a room and uh, like a club. Like, mm. It's good. Yeah. 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 That's delicious. Okay. I know you don't like it, but eat like the, um, it's really sweet. Oh. It wakes up like, like fun. It's really mm -hmm. soft. This is good. So, we're in Armstrong Park. And right here we are at Condo Square. You can read about it right there. The saying and dance and drum in authentic West African style. This rich legacy of an African celebration is the foundation of New Orleans. Unique musical traditions including jazz. This is where it was invented. Isn't that crazy? So people leave they little... Like handmade all of their stuff. People leave little offerings, you can see there. We got some shells, some pennies, different things. A lot of history right here. Something you should plan on seeing if you decide to come to New Orleans. Some big, big oak trees. And they close the gates at a certain time as well. Oh, wow. 